everyone. So today, me and my mom are going to be doing the perfect palette tag. Oh yeah, my channel is Joy, J-O-Y-E, Smith, S-M-I-T-H. Yeah, I'm the older version of the younger version. Yeah, but we have like, <laughs> she has like tons of high-end makeup, so go check that out. So, let's get started. So the first question is best packaging. So you can go first. Okay. And I picked... Well, I'm not used to her computer, so I feel awkward. I picked this Tarte palette because I think it looks like a little bag. So I think it's really cute. It's extremely sturdy. It's got stitching like material on it. I can't see where I'm at. <laughs> it's like a snakeskin design right there, and there's a push thing here. It opens up. It's got a huge mirror there, and it's got two blushes. One blush is dark enough that maybe some people might be used as it be able to use it as a contour, and then it's got a really great selection of shadow colors. So I thought the packaging on this one was really, really good, and it says tart on it. Where is your Camera. Okay, I'll probably get the yeah, hanger like such a great. <laughs> corner, like, yeah, yes, let's let's talk on it. Let's creep together. I'll probably get used to her camera after like the fifth palette. Anyway, this was my pick for best packaging. Okay, and then my pick for best packaging is the Ariel palette, and this was by Sephora. Um, it's now unavailable anywhere like I can't find this anywhere and so this is the last storybook eyeshadow palette that Sephora is going to be making and so just look at look at that packaging it's so pretty uh Ariel is my favorite Disney princess so I had to pick this up and the rest of the entire collection which probably I've heard a lot that it's not worth it but I definitely think it was this is what the palette looks like on the inside. The names are adorable. They're all named after Ariel characters or places or things. And yeah, I just really, really love this palette. And it's a uh, velvet, just a super pretty, pretty palette. Okay, next one is best color payoff. Oh gosh, which one did I pick for that? Was it this one? So I'm going to pick this one now for my best color payoff. And this was the MAC, their um, Paint by Faces by Rebecca Moses Brown. And or I don't know if Brown is her last name, but by Re Rebecca Moses. And this is the brown colors. And this was the one where you have the shadows and the Melba blush and then a couple of lipsticks. And the lipsticks are Ravishing, which is what I'm wearing today. And, oops, myth. So in this one, I like because you can you can see I've used it, but it's like you can barely have to touch anything and it comes off really, really great. So, and I think most MAC shadows are like that with color payoff. So that was my choice. I really like that one. Well, the one that I chose for best color payoff is the IT Cosmetics palette. And so as my mom has told me, they have come out with another palette, but this was their first one. Uh, really... Oopsie. Keep talking. I'll get it. Okay. Wait, what was the question again? The best color payoff. Okay. Yes. So this just has amazing, amazing pigmentation on it. And I just think it's really, really, really good. They're super buttery shadows. And they're super, super great. So this is what one of the colors looks like. And this was one swipe with my finger um, super buttery and beautiful colors really last all day even without a primer which is really good and yeah it's just simple and great packaging she's not gonna get it. <laughs> oh the questions went away okay so the next question Wait, uh, oh yeah I is one. most versatile oh I remember now Okay, well, you know how everybody's doing that. I cheated, so I'm going to cheat, too. And I did the MAC thing. But I did the, you know how some people just, oh, I hear one rattling around in there. How some people just did the one palette. I took the big dog. So there we go. 
That looks pretty versatile, right? Yeah, I think so too. So, no said. Okay, I cheated also. <laughs> like mother, like daughter, we both cheat. Not in a bad way, just mm -mm. with makeup, you know, tags. So, these are all MAC shadows also, but I put them in a Z palette. I have some mattes, some shimmers, some colorful colors, like this turquoise in the corner, and some blues and browns and pinks. Yeah, same as her. And Pretty versatile. Side. Yeah. So best for traveling is next. Okay, I'm going to go with, and I just got this a, a few days ago, and it was major on sale. And I've been wanting it since I first saw it, Too Faced Love Sephora. They celebrated their 15 years of being with them. And this has a little bit of everything, which is why I think it's really good for travel. It's now, like freaking Aladdin magic carpet. Yeah. Uh, I know. Sorry. Ooh, normally I was going to pick this one. So I just have to throw that in there. If anybody doesn't have the Lorac Pro, it's one of the best palettes out there. So, yeah. D, all of, all of these questions could be answered with that one palette. But we tried to be a little bit different. Except for the least used and oh, yeah. biggest regret. And yeah, which she said. Okay, but this one has a shadow insurance, a brush, a blush, a bronzer that's shiny, a matte bronzer, and wonderful, beautiful colors. So this one is really good for travel. Okay, the one that I chose is a few of my favorite things palette by Too Faced. This is their new holiday collection palette. And so, um, it has two bronzers, one shimmery, one matte, two blushes, and four, 20 eyeshadows. And what else did it come with? And a, like, lip surgeon's, I mean, not lip surgeon's, that's tart, but, like, a, what's it called? A lip injection, like, pen thing. A Which mascara. is a lipstick that plumps your lips. Yeah, a mascara and... Yeah, I think that's it. But all that and for a bag. Only, yeah, in a bag for only fifty dollars. Like that's an awesome, awesome deal with all of these like face products that are almost full sized, which are normally would be. Uh, I just rubbed my hand in it. I was like, man, show me really? this watch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, which w all these products like just this bottom part would be around like a hundred dollars. So the fact that you get 20 eyeshadows, a lip injection thing, and a, it's called Better Than Sex Mascara, um, is such a great deal. And plus, this is obviously really good for traveling. I mean, you basically have all the product you'll ever need except for foundation and concealer in here. So really good for traveling. Mm -hmm. So the next question is biggest regret. <laughs> Ready? Let's do this one together. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> they are, mine is the Urban Decay AMO palette, thing, but they're both like six. This was $12 on sale. This was $10 on sale. Yeah. Not worth it at all. I don't, like, I've never even put my fingers on this one. She's at least used hers twice. Yeah, I try. I mean, <laughs> just to see but it's just like all these colors are in different palettes that I have and there's no need for me to have all of these ones in the same one because they're not very good color selection I mean they're really weird colors like you would have to add shadows to all of these to make a complete look yeah they're all shimmery there's yeah. not a matte in there not, there's not a matte in this one either so yeah. yeah you couldn't just take this palette in you would definitely have to add other things to it so yeah, biggest regret. Question is best color names. Mm. I think Too Faced probably, or the Balm rules in this category every time. This one is called Shadow Bonbon. Bon, and this one sold out pretty good. It was pretty fast to sell out. It came with a Shadow Insurance in Candlelight and a Lash Yasm Mascara. I gave the Shadow Insurance, this was a long time ago that I got this, so I gave the Shadow... <laughs> Bless you. Oh, sorry. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> and the lash gasm is the worst mascara in the world. It's pretty bad. She's giving me like 
three of them. We keep trying they're really it. Because yeah, they're, the well, they're samples. They're not like you buy full size. This was every a full time. size. It was really bad. Though. It's the worst. So don't, I mean, don't waste your money on that. But the shadows are amazing and the names. They're supposed to be about the names. So this one, like Cut the Cake. Coffee Bean, Lovey Dovey, Candy Rose, Hot Cocoa. I think their names are cute. But the names, they've even gotten way cuter. Like in the her palette. What's that one called? The Favorite Things. One. Yeah. That one wins. But we wanted to do different palettes than everybody else yeah. has done. So the, the Favorite Things one is like Whiskers on Kittens. Like with the song from The Sound of Music. So that's super, super cute. But I think it's more fit for traveling. Yeah. But I think in general, the Too Faced names on all their items are super cute. Yeah, because mine is also a Too Faced palette, <laughs> which is Love Sweet Love palette. And so, should I tell the story? Yeah, tell the story. Okay. <laughs> okay. We filmed this earlier, but we decided to do something different. So, this is take okay. two. <laughs> story time, children. <laughs> come closer. Okay, so <laughs> with this palette... Uh, I got this last Christmas, I think, and so my mom had this palette before me, and she asked me if I liked it or not, and I said no, and then, because I was secretly jealous, and I was like, no, of course I don't want that one, because I can't get that one, and then I get it on Christmas Day, and I felt really, really bad, because I did really, really want it, I was just... I almost did Trying to make it. myself feel better by saying no, I didn't want it. And then that day I was like, no, I really do like that a lot. I promise. I lied when I said that I didn't because I was jealous. So, yeah. I love the names in this. Um, Pink Caramel uh, has six, like, there's a whole bunch of different candy names, which is super cute. Um, like Bubblegum, Lollipop, Burnt Sugar. Really, really cute names, and it comes with two lip products, a bronzer, a blush, and six eyeshadows. So, and I do really good. appreciate that you got it for me. <laughs> I really do like this, and I lied when I said that I didn't. Least used. Oh. And this is not because it's a bad product. I just don't reach for it. I think Tarte is a great product. I got this on sale on Sephora.com. And I was really excited to get it because, look, the colors are amazing. I just haven't reached for it yet. So, but I will. It's least used, but it's not because it, there's anything wrong with it. It's just because it's sitting in my drawer tucked down in there and I, I forgot about it. My least used is the Naked 2 palette. So this is obviously <gasps> obviously a fan favorite for many YouTubers. Um, these shadows are just not very good. I mean, the Lorac Pro Palette is really awesome compared to this. I mean, that has a whole row of matte colors, and this, I mean, look at that. That has twice the eyeshadows, and this is just, like, shimmery gold. I don't know. It's just not the same. I can't figure out like, her camera yet. I'm yeah, still it's still the, <laughs> Where okay. are you? There you are. Okay, here's the Lorac Pro. I know you've all seen this a thousand times. Yeah, so obviously this is my least used. If I have the Lorac... Yeah, did you, I understood that. If you have the Lorac <laughs> use that one. Okay, so most used. Okay, well right now, because it's new... <laughs> So we just redeemed Urban Decay, the Naked 3. I have been using this a lot, even though if you if anybody watches my channel, they saw that this shadow right here called, what is it called? Strange, completely popped out of my palette. And I have it, the whole top layer of it is gone. You can't see it from there, but it's half of it's gone. But I love rosy gold shadows. So I am in love with this palette. Um, I've done it without having to add other shadows to it, so I'm happy with this one. Some people like it, some people don't. You keep hearing different things about it, but I like it. So far, it's my most used. And so to redeem Urban K even more, my most used is the Naked Basics palette. So this palette is my favorite of all time ever. Um, it has a white shimmery shade right here, and then the rest are matte. It just has perfect blending colors, crease colors, and highlights. 
um, a matte black so you can line your eyes or use it as a outer corner color. Just a really good everyday neutral little palette. Most loved. <laughs> So, so I think we both so say thing, that right? it's like the same question, yeah. except that she wants to I'm change I'm going to go it. with the Lorac Pro for my most loved. Even though I don't reach for it all the time, I don't use it all the time, I, I think I love this one the most. Mine, the Naked Basics still. I mean, it's basically the same question, so I'm just going to go with the Naked Basics. Really good palette. Good idea. Palette that you would use on a desert island which doesn't make sense, but I guess it means if you lost all your makeup, which palette would you use? Okay, so I chose the BH Cosmetics San Francisco palette. Uh, just super cute packaging on the front. They have a whole bunch of these palettes named after different cities. Um, this says, inspired by the classic San Francisco city, this palette contains eye and face colors that can transform you into sophisticated Bay Area girl. Cool tones and benefits. <laughs> Can I, I still, I, I understood English. that too. And feminine <laughs> colors get you ready for gloom or shine. Contains 16 eyeshadows and four face powders. So a massive amount of eyeshadows for a little tiny palette. And then the size of the blushes and bronzers is really, really good. Um, they're the size of what I would say a normal bronzer and blush would look like. And then the eyeshadows are a bit small. But you never really need a lot of eyeshadow on your eyes, so it's just a really good everyday palette that's good on a desert island. I think I would probably take my MAC one. Because I think I don't need bright colors on a desert island, just some neutrals to throw on. <laughs> a little bronze blush. Up the face. Yeah, bronze up the face, a little blush, and definitely I need something with lips. Because I can do brows, I can do everything with this palette. So yeah, this would probably be my Desert Island palette. So this is going to be the perfect palette tag on my channel. And then head on over to her channel and she will have the All About Eyes tag. And so we really hope you enjoyed this. And please make sure to subscribe and like this video. So talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.